<laughs> greetings, greetings. Welcome again to another Weatherman Weekly Weather Report. It's by me, Scott Weatherman. Uh, this time I'm trying to share my video with me so you can see me as I'm doing this because it's going to be a little more engaging. And also, hopefully, you enjoyed my new intro music thing I'm trying to do. Uh, I'll clean it up. If you like it, just let me know. All right, so moving on. Oh, it's going to try to do it again. All right, so I did some drone footage before we started, and this right here you see is looking north for uh, Abilene right now. You see it; it's uh, pretty overcast and cloudy. It said earlier that we got about 50% chance of rain today, so we'll see if it does anything. It still is only middle of the day. Uh, as we turn, we look out kind of towards the east and getting towards the south area. You see that we do have some breaks in the clouds. Uh, it's still pretty cloudy, though. If you look out in the south, you see that there looks like there could possibly be some little showers back in that direction, or it could just be that it's just really kind of dark. But it does look kind of like there's a little bit of shadow right here, maybe for some, some kind of rain. Uh, looking to the west, you see that it's pretty much still overcast everywhere we look. There's some cloud um, breakage, but mostly it's cloudy. It's actually broken up a little bit since earlier today. But anyway, this is kind of uh, the view that we have as of this moment looking out from uh, aerial cam pretty nifty I like it and uh, hopefully bring lots of other cool video things into the future alright so looking at the actual live cam weather cam out, out right now from uh, the actual uh, station you see that we do have a little bit of movement because it's showing some wind blowing right here uh, we do still see, again, like I said, it's pretty much cloudy. There is some breaks in the cloud, but it's, oh, sorry, but it's still chance of rain. We'll see, hopefully. Um, it's looking like it might be like that all week, so we might have a repeat of last week. Unfortunately, it doesn't look like we're going to have the awesome temperatures we had last week. Don't know about you, but I was loving wearing a coat. Um, I got a new coat last spring break and only got to wear it a couple times, so I was uh, reveling in that. It's pretty awesome, and I could live with those kind of temperatures year-round, although I understand that that's probably not the, the greatest situation for growing plants and whatnot, but, or for vacations to go swimming, but I do really enjoy the cooler weather. It always makes me happier, and it definitely... Uh, made me feel like fall was definitely on the way and going into this week it also looks like we're going to continue some of that fall trends because we're looking at what we typically have in October to mid late September time frame lots and lots of our rain for the year so moving on let's look real quick at our oh wait this is this our uh, touch up from last week for our rain uh, pulled up on my weather underground if you look right here, we did get at my weather station. Uh, we started getting some rain last Wednesday. That's when it kind of rolled in. We got a little bit, but not a lot. Uh, but we did get just a little bit of precipitation that continued on into the night as that cold front came through. And as you see, we almost we almost got three inches of rain just on on a Wednesday itself. Sorry, it came in started coming on Tuesday. Wednesday was the main the main event. It looks like. Uh, but it did appear that we had almost like an, a stationary front kind of situation going on because practically for three and a half days we had rain or at least drizzles and periodic rains. So we had almost an inch on Thursday and then on Friday we even had almost two tenths of an inch but it kind of panned off and then this weekend it's been pretty nice. It's gotten a little bit warmer, not too hot, still uh, low 80s high 70s for the weekend so it was a pretty good weekend uh, although sad thing is that if you did go out and do anything like my wife did on Friday afternoon it was pretty saturated from all the rain that we did get but I'm not going to complain because we needed it and the weather was great all right so looking currently at our wind maps for the United States as you see right now we have kind of a little bit different than what we did have uh, usually we have a lot of a lot of winds coming from the south but uh, we've had a little bit of a reversal. You see this front kind of moved off this way because we did have this situation like this was over here. But now you see that a lot of the rain stuff kind of go over here. There's some mixing going on probably right here as well. So uh, let's zoom in a little bit to our area. See what we got more directly. So it does look like the majority of the winds are still coming uh, from the north. So 
it's kind of interesting. Uh, we do have some hurricanes off in the coast uh, of Florida and, and possibly coming up into the Gulf. So we might see a shift in this later and have some more Gulf moisture come up from the south. But we are having a lot of these northerly winds coming in, and that's probably why we're still keeping a little bit of cool temperatures. So that's always wonderful. All right, so going on into what we have at the moment, uh, we have right now sitting at 82.6 degrees outside, so still not too bad. It's a little bit humid, though, as you see right now, it's 65%. It's a little less from yesterday and uh, definitely less from earlier this week when the humidity was, well, 100% because it's raining. But uh, we still got a little muggy out there. I had to go get some water for my water jugs, filled up the water, and uh, it definitely was like, humid, but wasn't bad. It made it feel a little bit warmer. Uh, it says it feels like 86. I felt like maybe closer to 90, but that's just because I already got accustomed to those nice, cool weather. So uh, you see right here that we had those northerly northern winds are blowing pretty much to the south uh, southwest. That's right now 2.5. We've not had large winds, only 6.9 miles per hour for our peak today. So nothing too horrible. That's probably why the clouds are just kind of hovering around and not really doing too much, but we'll see how it goes. Uh, our pressure right now, you see it's down a little bit, but not a lot. We're still sitting at 1,008 um, hectopascals um, or millibars. Right now, we do still have a little bit moderate UV index, and it is, like I said, midday. It's about 1 o'clock p.m., so uh, even with the clouds, we still have a little bit of UV index. Oh, look, see, it just bumped up. So that's because the clouds are breaking a little bit. But again, we are expecting some rain possibly later. So who knows what will happen? Uh, we still have a lot less solar intensity that we had. If you go back here, we can kind of look at how that went as well. This right here is just for our precipitation. But if we go for our uh, UV, where is that UV? I'm not used to using this thing here. here. So, uh, yeah. Oh, that's right. Right in here. Doesn't it show the UV. But anyway, should. Uh, this just shows for last week. Never mind. Our UV, though, if you remember last week, it, it was a little bit higher. It's just continuously getting lower. And like I said, that's because we're getting closer and closer to the fall equinox and going into winter. And we're going to have less and less intensity of wavelength of light coming in. So it'll be a shorter days and whatnot. And uh, hey, there's the clock. So there's proof. It's one o'clock. Uh, sorry about that. Anyway, <laughs> if you look right now, our sunrise is, is getting later. It's now going to be almost 7.30 in the morning, and it's going to be setting still before 8 o'clock, so we're getting closer and closer to having less than 12 full hours. Um, we're getting, right now, our moon's coming out early, and it's setting late, but we don't have a full moon right now, so it's not going to be as impressive. All right, so let's go ahead and look for the main feature. Let's look at what we got to look forward this week. You see right now that for the rest of the day, you can see that we are going to pretty much kind of stay in the temperature we're at right now. Uh, this afternoon, around 8, it's going to start dropping to 70s again. Overnight, we'll be in the 60s. And tomorrow, we'll be starting off uh, low 60s going into the 70s, looking at for a high of, of only 80. So that's not too bad. Um, I can handle that, but we're going to have some a little bit of humidity, not as much of a rain chance. Uh, the rain chance looks a little bit lower on this forecast than what I was looking at earlier. Earlier for, forecast I'm looking at showed that we had about a 50% chance of rain for like Wednesday, Thursday, and Friday or something is most of the week. So I predict that we will have at least one rainstorm, probably two during the week, but you know, Weather is a, uh, it's about models and not, uh, and it doesn't always work out that way. But I do predict it will have some more rain again this week um, and feel more like fall. But we do look like we're going to be nice. We're going to be kind of in the 80s all week, uh, hopefully to the lower point. So hopefully we'll have majority of time be in the, the 70s, not too bad. Uh, humidity will be probably, like I said, up a little bit. So it might be a little muggy, but. Overall, it still will feel more like we're getting ready for fall, which is good because after this week, we will be going into our fall. Uh, this week goes till the, where am I looking? Um, 
14th through the, uh, oh, sorry, 13th through the 19th. So next week on the 22nd, 22nd, Tuesday will be the start of fall. So uh, that's great. We're going to finally go into that season. Hopefully everything will have some rapid changes between now and October 31st because October 31st, this Halloween is going to be awesome as far as timing wise because we have the fall back so we get an extra hour it's going to be on a saturday so halloween parties are going to be awesome like that um all day to prepare and whatnot but unfortunately because of all the virus stuff who knows what will happen hopefully something will clear up and uh, maybe we'll have a miracle and be able to do something with trick-or-treating with kids uh it would be pretty sad because my kids are getting their uh one, one will be 12 next month, so they're getting to that age where trick-or-treating won't be a big thing for very much longer, unless they want to. I don't care. If they want to do it while, it, while they're in high school, you know, more power to them, but got to face the facts they might not be as into it. I know I wasn't around that age, so hopefully this something will work out and they'll be able to do something to enjoy their time, and uh, hopefully y'all will too. So anyway, that's it for the Weatherman Weekly Report. And let's go ahead and listen to that intro one more time as we have an outro. Maybe. Yeah. Just get some little drums. Something like that. I put all my drum set up though, so I don't have it. But anyway, it's work in progress. Something simple, easy, nothing too flashy, but you know. Anyway, that's it. That's a wrap. Catch you later. Take care.